picture seems okay. Okay, good. I just wanted to watch the news headlines. Oh, right, I'll see. Oh, wait a minute, there's a note here that says the razor point in the bathroom's faulty. Mind if I check it now? <laughs> Evening, madam. <laughs> That's great. Well, I, I just thought I'd check. Oh, can't we forget Hannah and Joe just for one night? They're adults, for God's sake. Hannah's probably gone out and left the grill on, and Joe won't even notice, and the house will burn down. <laughs> but the phone was working. Well, yes, but it can happen. No, it can't. If the phone is working, the house is fine. And they probably haven't taken the dog out for a walk. He'll suffer. One day without walkies won't be fatal. Yes, but they never remember to top up his water. Well, we should have brought him with us. Well, they do allow dogs, you know. I was not being serious. <laughs> well, I'm worried. The dog's probably been run over and they're at the police station now. Don't be silly. Stop worrying. I mean, I specifically said... Well, you heard me, didn't I? Didn't I specifically say... Specifically. Stay in tonight, keep an eye on the dog and look after the house. Those were your very words. Yes, but why aren't they answering the phone? Because then? Joe is taking the dog for a walk and Hannah is in the bath. No, because she always takes the phone into the bathroom with her. Faith, forget about it. Oh, this. how can I, Bill? Don't be silly when I know what's going on. Do you? Yes, it's obvious, isn't it? No! Well, that's probably the fire brigade. Come to break the bad news. Yes? Good evening, sir. Turn down service. I've already been turned down, thank you. <laughs> Nothing coming in or out. I sat on the train for hours, but it doesn't look like they'll be able to clear it today. Damn. I know why you're saying damn. It's got nothing to do with British Rail, has it? Well, um, <laughs> I'm upset for you, of course. But mostly you're upset because I've come home. Well, I'm sure they'd have sorted it out eventually. <laughs> Staying there any longer. I'd spent all my money on rotten sandwiches and it was too late to get the coach. Bill will be here soon. I'll be discreet. You don't know how. <laughs> I'll just take a thermos of soup upstairs. You won't even know I'm here. Oh, anyway, I don't suppose it matters, really. I mean, yes, it would have been nice if we could have been on our own, but if we can't, we can't. <laughs> Bill understands about family life. It's a bit warm for a fire, isn't it? Well, I, I wanted to create the right ambience. Oh. <sighs> <sighs> <laughs> you are going to go upstairs, then, are you? Yeah, all right. Just wanted the TV programmes. Oh, can I have a piece of that cheese? No, no, you can't. Mum, it's not my fault there was a derailment. What did I say it was? Well, starving me to death seems to indicate you think so. <laughs> There's some cheddar in the fridge. Is that a new dress? Yes, it is. It's a bit flimsy. <laughs> Got a vest under it. <laughs> None of your business. Well, don't blame me if you catch a death of cold. <laughs> It's a bit dark, isn't it? Bang goes the ambience. 
Oh, I'm sorry. I've been stuck in airports and planes for hours. Got used to the bright lights. No, it's all right. Leave them on now. The magic moment has passed. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Oh, it's a bit warm in here. <laughs> I thought a fire would be nice. Oh, did you? Yes, I did. Yes, well, it is. I'll, I'll just sit over here till I get used to it. <laughs> hmm? No, I, I, I've laid the food out here. Ah. Ah, what? Oh, yes. That's nice. Thank you. Is it for us? Well, who else do you think I'd have invited? And what are the knives and forks for? The main course. Is it a meal you can freeze at all? <laughs> Well, I had a small meal on the plane. What? I expect I can manage something. But I don't want you to manage something, Bill. I, I want your taste buds to be tantalised. Well, I expect they will be if I wait for a bit. But uh, didn't you think I might have cooked a meal? I was thinking about getting back to you. I wasn't thinking of steak and chips. It's beurre en croute. Yes, well, you know what planes are like. They give you a tray. You've got no choice. Yes, you have. You say no thank you. <laughs> OK, OK. Well, I didn't. I'm sorry. I ate because I didn't know you'd be cooking. So you're not hungry? Well, not right at this moment. Do you like my dress? Oh, very much. And you didn't say anything? Well, I haven't had much chance. No, <laughs> I just thought the least you could have said, first of all, was, oh, Faith, darling, you look lovely. Well, I couldn't see. You turned all the lights out. <laughs> you and roasted you alive, I think I'm going to bed. Do you want to come with me? Or did you get that on the plane as well? <laughs> wow. Smacks of desperation. <laughs> Does it? You don't need to dress like Kylie. Well, Hillary's bound to be wearing something youthful. God, you two are pathetic. Why can't you act your age? I can. Hillary is going out with someone who's young enough to be my nephew. <laughs> Don't look like auntie over the dinner table. Bill will be there. He looks much older than you. Thank you. You're talking about the man I love. Well, I don't know why you're going to dinner with him anyway. You won't enjoy it. He's a creep, Gideon. Is he? He used to pinch my chips at lunchtime. And he thought he was God's gift to the fifth-year girls. Well, now he's God's gift to Hillary. I can't believe she's dumb enough to fancy him. <sighs> Hillary's not dumb. It's just that at a certain age, women do strange things. Certainly do. Look at you in that skirt. <laughs> I do look desperate, don't I? No, you just don't look happy. Well, I'm not. Is it Bill? No, it's not Bill. Well, not directly. It's just... I thought midlife crisis was something that happened to other people, if I ever thought about it at all. Certainly didn't think I'd have to think about it for years, but I think I'm having one now at this moment. <laughs> <laughs> A man gave me his seat on the train yesterday. Isn't that good? No. They only do that for the pregnant or the elderly. <laughs> Maybe he thought you were pregnant. No, he didn't. <laughs> and this morning, I had a sudden urge to put a cardigan over a dress. What's wrong with that? And then, I walked past a K shoe shop and saw a pair I quite liked. <laughs> yes. I thought they looked comfortable. Yeah. <laughs> Not strappy or sexy or glamorous, just comfortable. That is serious. And look, look at this. Oh, wow, thanks. Yes, but they're not for you. Well, I mean, they are, but uh, they're supposed to be for me. For you? Bill bought them for me. Oh, it's not quite your thing. Well, it obviously means he wishes I were younger and could fit into them. <laughs> or that he sees you as someone still young. <laughs> nice try. Seems obvious to me. The real killer is, um... I've got to wear glasses. Really? Let's have a look. Well, no, they're downstairs under some papers in the desk. I've locked the drawer. <laughs> I look like your mother, the granny. Come on, try them on. I'll tell you what I think. No, no, not today. I feel dodgy enough as it is. Glasses can be very flattering. Oh, stop trying to make me feel better. I thought that was the idea. Suddenly, I'm middle-aged. Suddenly, you'll have a new image. What does Bill think of them? I haven't had a chance to show him yet. Are you wearing them tonight? Oh, no, I couldn't. All those people there. I don't want to make, make a, a spectacle, spectacle of, of myself. <laughs> <laughs> Your jokes are getting older as well. Yes, well, when your looks are gone, you've got to go for the laughs. <laughs> well, if I look like you and I've got two grown-up kids, I won't have any complaints. <laughs> but that doesn't mean you'll get away with wearing that skirt. <laughs> Pouting. Pouting? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mick Jagger! How did you guess? <laughs> well, the only other person
person that stands like that is Guy the Gorilla. <laughs> well, what do you think? Well, it's really fab and groovy. Thank you. I used to have Mick Jagger on my wall. And you were former Sunday school teacher. <laughs> Where'd you get the Paisley hipsters? The fashion editor says they're coming back. I hope so. They're very flattering. Ooh, got another groupie. We'll have to get used to it. Come on, then. Let's go. No, no, come on. Take your coat off. Yeah, when we get there. No, oh, I don't want any nasty surprises. I want to know what you're wearing. <laughs> it took me ages to get into it, so if you don't like it, tough. Why do I do I do? <laughs> Emma Peel, you know, the uh, Avengers girl. I used to have her picture on my wall. Oh, and you were Queen Scout. Mm. It's, uh, <clears throat> it's leather, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> it's a bit hot and sticky, actually. Very flattering. Oh, thank you. All those zips. Yes, they are um, a bit of a novelty, aren't they? A bit more than that. <laughs> well, uh, we're agreed we both look very nice, then. Uh, nice is not the word I would use. Oh, well, thank you very much. Very nice indeed. <laughs> but uh, <clears throat> we've still got a bit of time, you know. Um, uh, we don't want to be early. <laughs> Faith? Bill? Yes? I, I wondered if you'd like to come home. Well, I've just got a pint in. Oh. And they've set the dominoes up. I see. Was anything the matter? No, not really. It's just I, I slipped on that leather suit. You mean, uh, the leather suit? Yes, the <laughs> suit seems a bit stiff. I might need help getting out of it. Well, um, I'm a bit tired. I'm sure you're not. Have you tried a bit of soap? It's in an awkward place. I'm on my way. Brother in the bathroom? No, Ray, but I'll only have time for one game of dominoes. <laughs> we certainly must. Good night, darling. Goodbye. Oh. <sighs> well, but... oh. <laughs> what are you doing in there? I was going to greet you with a glass of champagne and this outfit, and then I heard you were someone, so I had to get in the cupboard. Who the hell? Good evening, madam. Is that room service? Can I help you? What have you got? <laughs> well, we do have a full menu, madam. You should have a copy of it in your room. Oh, yes, of course. I'm so sorry. I should have looked at it first, shouldn't I? What, oh, silly me. Your name's not Stephen by any chance, is it? No, it's Carl, madam. Oh. Only my friend's got a son called Stephen who's gone into the catering business. You, say, you sound a bit like him. Stephen Bailey, have you come across him? I don't think so. Ah, <laughs> oh, here we are. What a lot of things you've got. Quite a selection, I believe. Yes. You must get fed up with people ringing up at all hours ordering food. Well, that's what we're here for, madam. Yeah, still, be handy if they rang up before 6.30 for their order, then you could push off home. <laughs> Not really, madam. The idea is that you can reach us at any time. Yes, right. Well, I'll have a triple-decker club sandwich and chips, please. We normally like to eat earlier to... Well, I don't mind a bit, but my... Well, Mr McGregor suffers. Please, we all suffer. Don't tell the hotel staff all our business. Flatulence. <laughs> the bowl of minestrone soup, please. 